What do this orange, this saltstone lamp and this figurine have in common? They can all be turned into highly detailed 3D models in just a few minutes. Curious? Let's find out how. What's up guys, Nunu here. I'll use the Scan Raptor from Reality to scan objects so quickly. This is a high precision scanner with an accuracy of up to 0.02 millimeters. <laughs> That's right, you can even get super fine details from a small coin. Reality did send me this to try it out and I'll show you how it works. So let's start scanning using one of the two modes available, the blue laser mode. This mode works well for capturing super fine details. First, I'll load up the scan software and select the blue laser mode. I'm using an IKEA turntable with these reflective markers to help align the scan. And since I'm using reflector markers on the surface, it's best to place this orange laying flat on the table. Once it's in position, we can start the scan. The software will capture different angles, so you'll want to ensure the object is well lit but without harsh shadows. For that, you can get a diffuse light. If you cannot use a diffuse light, just place the object next to a window without direct sunlight. The turntable also allows me to rotate the object easily, so I don't have to go around the object myself. Again, you can get this easily in any IKEA store around you. I'll leave a link in the description. So, this way, the orange rotates smoothly, allowing you to capture all the angles without missing any details. Once the scan is complete, I press this button to finish. The software automatically processes the 3D model. From here, I can fine-tune the model by removing any unwanted parts. Then I'll over over the point cloud optimization and select Auto. Usually it works fine. Now I need to scan the other part. So I just rotate the orange and click this button to start a new scanning process. When it's done, I do the same process as before. And now we have a new option called Point Cloud Merging. This is where we merge both sides. Usually, the automatic option works fine, so let's go with that. Now, all it's left to do is go to Mesh Settings and I leave it 2 million polygons and select Hole Filling to close any areas that the scanner may have not captured. Let's take a quick look at the scan model. You can see how detailed the orange is and all the fine details are captured throughout the 3D model. And all of this in just a couple of minutes. Now, clicking this color mapping icon will generate the color texture from the scan. And you can see how it looks. Next, we can export the model as OBJ and I will import it into my 3D rendering software, Lumion. I import the new file and set the materials. And now you can see how it looks after being rendered. You can see it looks pretty much the same as the real object and with all the little imperfections from the real object, which makes your renders look more realistic. This is a great way of creating a lot of 3D models from objects that you already have laying around in your house. Now let's step it up with something trickier. This figurine from a video game. It has a lot of details, making it a perfect challenge for the scanner. This time I'll use the infrared mode, which doesn't require reflective markers, ideal for objects like this. It saves setup time and is better suited for models with small edges and uneven surfaces. I'll simply switch to infrared mode in the software and begin scanning by moving around the object to capture all angles. Unlike the blue laser, this method excels at capturing sharp edges and finer geometry without needing extra tools like markers. In this mode, I need to keep adjusting the exposure to better capture all the surfaces. I'll make the same process as before and optimize the model. And let me know in the comments what you think of the results so far and if you ever use a scanner like this to create 3D models. To be honest, I think it did a great job retaining the shapes of the object. Now I'll load it into one of my projects inside Lumion, adjust the materials and here's how it looks after rendered. I'm sure this object would take quite some time to model from scratch. Now, let's scan something more organic. The saltstone lamp. The process is the same as before, so I'll save you some time and I'll just fast forward this part. And this is how it looks. <laughs> Quite amazing, right? 
we can see all the fine details on the salt stone lamp. Again, inside Lumion, this is the result. <laughs> Looks pretty nice, right? And while capturing objects with a scanner like this is great, because you get such great details in a couple of minutes, there are a few things to keep in mind. If the color texture is a must for you, keep in mind that it just generates a diffuse map, not a typical PBR workflow. And the textures, even though they are 4K, sometimes they just use a quarter of the space, making it about 1K resolution in the end. Another thing is that this version is not completely portable, since it's tethered by a cable. And while there's a bit of learning curve, once you master it, the results are incredibly rewarding. So, I've been using this more and more lately, and I think it's nice to create your own library of 3D models with high quality. You can check their website for more information, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you'd like to learn an even more in-depth tutorial, check the link up there. What would you scan first? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials like this. And I'll see you in the next one.